Marcel Bernard knows what it's like to step outside your comfort zone. Born in London, she migrated to Australia without knowing what she would find here, just that it would be different. Since then, she's been whitewater rafting, abseiling, even firewalking, pushing herself to prove that she can do anything she wants. And with each success, she reinforces the message she brings to students that no matter how unlikely something may sound, if you want to, you can do it. All you have to do is overcome your fears. I'm not, not talking about physical danger fear when you're actually in trouble and your body's about to die. What, I'm, what I talk about is another kind of fear, fear of success, fear of failure, fear of the unknown, the kind of fears that actually stop people from taking a chance or taking a risk and actually taking the actions required to turn out what they want. For Marcel, public speaking is a good example of overcoming a fear. Not everybody who steps up on a stage is naturally comfortable in front of a large crowd, she says. Even she admits she struggled at first. So being a professional speaker, a lot of people think that I'm a naturally extrovert, per, extrovert style person. And they often think that most people who are speakers are extroverts, but that's not actually the truth. Most professional speakers are actually very shy or introverted people. And the reason that they become professional speakers or they get paid for doing what they do well is because they're usually they're willing to do the preparation and the practice that's required. So they put in the effort, they put in the time, they don't try and wing it. And uh, that was how I got started. I was very shy and I put in the preparation practice and eventually ended up being able to do what I do, which is public speaking well. It's a skill she says everyone could learn to help them in everyday life. I believe that when you're speaking to somebody, it's your, you're responsible for how they're going to hear you or how they're going to listen to you. So you do have to change the way that you talk according to who you're talking to, which is something that not everybody's able to do. We are, however, all keen to communicate, she believes. It's just a matter of learning how to communicate more effectively. Human beings love to communicate and young people, like little ones, after they're around 11 or 12, are just dying to participate in any kind of public speaking. But what goes wrong is that, is that schools often think that public speaking is not going to be so popular. So you've got great huge trophies like this big for football and cricket and you've got a little certificate for public speaking. And no kid wants to get a certificate, they want big trophies. So if you want young people to participate, get the biggest trophy in the school, be the public speaking uh, trophy, and then we'll have loads of participation, because it's natural. People like to talk. And her message is getting through. Marcel says the best part of Step to the Future for her is hearing back from students that, right? who've taken a leap of faith in themselves after hearing her speak. For some, it's as simple as believing they can speak in public. For others, it's much more. I'm, I'm Jonathan. Hi. This is the first time I've ever gotten up in front of people like that. Go, don't. Jonathan! Woo! All right. Okay. Yeah? I, I really admire you in the way that you've given me the courage. <laughs> courage <laughs> to do something new. Good idea, Jonathan. Thank you for that. Good work. Well, One of the most rewarding things is the feedback that the students give us. And I receive emails from students who tell me all kinds of fabulous things about what they've decided to do with their lives. I've had emails from one fellow who um, decided to quit serious drugs. And he told me how he was going to do it and then followed up with other emails that let me know that he had done it. I've had people take on huge projects and other kids let me know about uh, things that they've decided to do about their lives. And uh, if they overcome one of the fake fears that I talk about is the fear of public speaking. And if somebody can overcome that fear, I say you can pretty much take, take on anything in the world. Once again, it's about overcoming your fears. What I want people to walk away from it with is knowing that if you put in a bit of preparation and a bit of practice, you can pretty much turn out anything that you want. Hi, my name's Rebecca, and all I'd like to say is that I've thought of questions to ask the other people, but haven't had the guts to get up and say anything, so I'd like to thank you for, even though I don't have a question for you now, I just want to say congratulations. Give her a big clap! Woo! Go, Rebecca!